Hi everybody, Nitsan Mosri here, the Traveling Investor, and I'm here today to talk to you and share with you about one of the uh, most important and most used calculations that you're going to use in your investing career. It's called IRV, I-R-V, uh, and these three letters stand for something else. This equation will help you solve for the cap rate, the NOI, and the purchase price. So let's go, let's get into it real quick. So I, right on top over here, I stands for net operating income. Uh, net operating income is the income that's generated from the property minus all the expenses. So you get the rents coming in every single month and then you subtract from it the uh, property management fee, the, uh, the repairs and maintenance, taxes, insurance, utilities, uh, payroll, anything of an expense to the property, you subtract that from the rents coming in and that is your net operating income. The one thing you have to make sure not to subtract from the gross rent uh, to get your NOI is the mortgage payment. So make sure you do that correctly. The next thing here is R. R stands for cap rate, okay? The capitalization rate. The cap rate is the ratio between how much income is coming in versus the purchase price. How much income, your net operating income versus your purchase price. So a high cap rate, let's say a 10 cap, would mean that there's a lot of income coming in and the purchase price is very low. So it's a cheap property. The next value is V, stands for value, purchase price. What exactly is the purchase price of the property? And now I've got a couple equations uh, to help uh, really solidify exactly what I'm talking about. So here we have the equation, I over R times V, right? Net operating income over cap rate times the purchase price. So let's get into it. So here we have cap rate, NOI, and purchase price. So let's say we have a cap rate of 4.7% and our NOI is $350,000, and we're looking for the purchase price. So let's take a look at this right now, okay? So 4.7, we have the, per the cap rate, right? We have the NOI. So what's the equation? The equation is I over R. And all we do is just substitute, right? So I is 350,000, and the cap rate is 4.7. So now we take out our calculators and we go 350,000 divided by 4.7% and that gives us a purchase price of around $7.5 million, right? So that's how we got that. Let's do another one. Okay. Now we're searching for the cap rate. We have the NOI. We have the NOI, which is 1 million, right? And we have the purchase price which is 17 million. So we have the NOI and we have the purchase price. So the again, I, I over the value. So what is the I? The NOI is 1 million. And what's the purchase price? 17 million. So we have 1 million divided by 17 million. And that gives us an NOI I'm sorry, a cap rate of six. See how we did that? Let's do this one right here. Here we're solving, we wanna see roughly what the NOI of a property is when we're given these two values. So, again, the we have the cap rate and we have the purchase price, right? Right here. So, we just multiply the two. So we have six million times a 6% cap, that gives us an NOI of $360,000. So this I over R times V, this is what we're going to live by when we are looking at numbers. Because usually when brokers send us packages, they'll send us a cap rate and an NOI. And they'll say, hey, you figure out what the purchase price is. We're going to leave it to the market to, to dictate what the purchase price is. So this is Nitsan Moser, your traveling investor. Uh, if you like what you see here, do me a favor, click like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Take care. Thank you.